Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Road Trek Simplicity SRT. This is a great entry level road trek. If you're looking to get into the Class B market, you don't want to spend $130,000. This is definitely one to look at. Uh, it's nice and short, therefore it's easier to park, easier to drive, gets better fuel economy than its Chevy predecessor. Uh, but it doesn't have you know, all the bells and whistles, but it's everything you need. You can, perfect traveler, great to go camping in. Let's go ahead and start up front. Here we'll make our way back and then head on in. Uh, this one is built on the Ram Promaster 2500 chassis. You have the V6 in there. Nice, beautiful, big windshield. If you can take a look at that, you have great visibility on the Promaster chassis. Bi-directional mirrors here on both the driver and passenger side. Uh, of course, you have the driver's side door, passenger door, and then uh, if you're not familiar with the Promaster chassis, it has a slider door, which makes it nice and easy to get into the coach, and you can see how big and open this floor plan is. Built-in step right here as well does make it very simple to get into the coach. Right up top is your awning. You'll see it has arms that attach to the coach itself. You have one arm right here, the other here, right here in the back. Uh, as you come around to the back side, Take a look, see your AC is mounted up top on this unit. Again, you have some extra head height in here when you stand inside. Your antenna is back there as well. Now, both these doors do open. They swing all the way open, which is phenomenal. Nice and easy, just like that. Both sides will do it. But one of the coolest things about, this, uh, about the Simplicity SRT, look at the amount of storage you have underneath. Absolutely massive storage here. Uh, this one does have a fixed bed. It's one of the only Road Trek models that does. We can take a look at that a little more when we go inside. Uh, you'll also see your uh, carpet kit right back here, and there is a door up front so you can access this storage from inside as well. If you take a look underneath, a couple quick things you'll notice right over here is your electric hookup, and then your water fill there is on the other side. So you come over to the off door side, Right here is your outside shower. This does have both hot and cold access. Uh, your terminations will be right here. You just lift that panel off. You can go ahead and get to those. Moving up front, if you've seen the uh, Mercedes Sprinter chassis, it looks very familiar uh, to this fuel fill. But the cool thing about this, you don't have to open the driver's side door. It's right there, easy to access. And this one does run on gasoline. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Road Trek Simplicity SRT. Let's go ahead and start off right here in the back. So this is a pretty unique floor plan when it comes to road trek because it does have a permanent fixed bed. This is a 60 by 72 bed here. So it's, uh, if you're under six foot, it'll definitely work for you. If you're taller, you may have to curl up a little. But, but the thing I do like about it is it has a ton of storage underneath. Take a look at this. Probably some of the biggest storage area you'll find in any Class B. Uh, you can access it from here or, of course, open up the back doors. But this is great, you know, if you're bringing golf clubs or anything with you, golf bags or anything else you need. If you're looking to go full time, this definitely has a storage under the bed to be able to do that. If you take a look up top, you'll see additional storage here as well, self-supporting hinges there. But you can see the storage on both sides of the bed. AC is back there too. Now as we take a look underneath the cabinets in the back here, you will see you have adjustable LED lights, so you can go ahead and move those however you would like. Uh, and then plenty of plug-ins. You have a power strip here, as well as one in the rear corner, and then another one on the other side. And you will notice those have your standard plugs, the 12 volt, as well as USB plugs in all three of those. Then right over here is your 24 inch TV. It's LG name brand TV. And then a Blu-ray player right above. So if you wanna watch a movie, you can easily do that too. Both sides also have windows. Those do open. Uh, you'll see that one side is a nightshade like I have here. The other side, if we open it up, that is a screen. So that way you can just slide the windows open. You have your screen right there, and that will allow for a great cross breeze to come through if you don't want to use the AC. To make our way forward a little bit, you can see you do have great storage right here, nice wardrobe storage. You can see the hanging rod right over there. And then we make our way into the kitchen. Uh, right up top here is the microwave. You can see down below they have this nice stainless steel backsplash so it is uh, easy to clean. 
The countertop, now, if you take a look at this, it doesn't look like a lot, but take a look at this extension they give you. You have a huge extension here, which is great. This really allows for usable countertop space, especially with having the cooktop cover on here. Go ahead and lift that up. You can see the two burner cooktop. Your sink here, I do wanna add, there is another power station right over here with the USB ports and your plug. So if you need to plug anything in, you can do it from here or the plug right up here. So uh, plenty of plugins in the kitchen. Nice pull out drawer there. And then underneath you can see the storage here as well as the storage located under the sink. If we take a look across the aisle, this gets us into our Norcold fridge freezer. Go ahead and take a look right there, plenty of space. You also have the drop down drawer. Now next to the fridge freezer, go ahead and open this up. This is a great pantry. You can see right here, plenty of shelves and awesome space, a little bit taller up top here as well for some of those larger items. And then right below, look at that drawer. Again, massive storage here, plenty of room for all of your pots and pans, everything else you need. Uh, you know, you can set in there, but just a huge drawer there. Underneath here is access to your water heater, and then you can see your furnace right there. Now, as we move up into the coach, you walk into the bathroom. The thing I like about this setup is it is right across from the main entry, so if you do come in, you have to use a bathroom, come right in, walk right into the bathroom, you can go right back out. You have mirrors on the door here, magazine racks, you kind of have these towel racks as well as handles. And if we open this up, you can take a look. Uh, as far as bathroom space, so you'll see right down here is the toilet. I'll go ahead and sit down. Uh, so you do have pretty good room. What the, these doors allow you to do is that when they close, they actually can close on an angle. And you see this hook here, it locks in. And like I said, they, they will have some space to allow a little more room so you can uh, you know, sit here comfortably. The shower pan itself does have a drain down below, of course. Your sink right here, you'll see how the hand wand attaches to the back of the sink light there you can see some shelves right here which is great uh, so you know places for your soap and shampoo and then if i stand up as far as to use the shower i'm six foot you can see here i don't have to bend over um, and again you know shower curtain goes across as i said you do have some extra space there and then you have a fantastic vent right outside so when you're done showering you need to dry it off or you know dry it out go ahead and turn that guy on and it will quickly suck all the moisture right out You'll see the LED lights uh, lining the whole ceiling here. Again, as I said, I'm six foot, plenty of ceiling height. I don't have to duck in the Zion or in the Simplicity SRT. Then if you notice right up here, this is your control panel. Um, you have the battery disconnect there, of course, as well. Now this one does have an underhood generator. Uh, that is one of the options on the Simplicity, and we did go ahead and equip that, so it does have the underhood generator, which is great. That way, as long as the coach is running, you have full access to everything in here, including your AC. Uh, it's not nearly as loud as your uh, standard generator, and it doesn't have as many issues. So uh, definitely a big advantage having that. If you take a look at the cockpit here, both the driver and passenger seats do spin around. You'll see right in the center is a spot for a table. Uh, the cockpit itself, you have some cup holders there, which is great. Of course, your controls for your heat and AC there in the center. Uh, power windows on both sides. And then you will see the privacy shade going across the front there. So if you do want privacy, of course, just go ahead and close that off. Some additional storage right up top here too. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Road Trek Simplicity SRT. This is a great traveler. If you're looking to get into the Class B market, you know, but you don't want to spend 120, 130,000, this is a great one to start at. You have the head height if you're a taller person, you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Uh, doesn't have quite as many bells and whistles as some of the other ones, you know, some of like the Zion, like it's Big Brother but it has everything you need. And that way you can kind of get your foot in, make sure this is something that you want to do. It's under 20 foot, so it's easy to drive, easy to park. Uh, definitely a great model. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That will be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.